Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now this is the last movie in this chapter about lights and now you know a lot of things about lights, alright? You know the different type of lights that we can use, how we can manipulate our lights, the different results that we can get, a lot of information. But I have uh, other things to, to show you. And one thing is that we have this other light here, right? Uh, called ambient light. If you click right here, you are going to create a new node called ambient. Now, we have different other options for illumination here inside Houdini, but this is not the one that I want to show you, but uh, still I'm going to talk about this one. As you can see, we, know we have no parameters for translation or rotation, and uh, we have just uh, these few parameters. Ambient color, okay, light intensity, light enable, enable light in viewport, display, and select the script. We can run a script with this uh, uh, node. And um, that's it. What we can do is just give a flat color to our image, and uh, and that's it. This is not the one that I want to, to talk about. What I want to show you is that if you press tab in your keyboard, okay, and you call a light, okay, type L, you can see we have two different types, okay, light template and light. If you select light, this is what we are going to get. You can see that this is a point light, all right, and we have all the different options. Well, actually, this is not the one that I want to show you because you already know what you can do with this one. Just, just a different name and a different way of calling that. Now, press tab and now again, light. And here we have one called light template. If we select the light template, this template, we are going to get the same kind of uh, light that Houdini is giving us by default. Okay, the same type. And you can, but uh, you can manipulate it right here in the viewport. And if we render this you are going to see that uh, we actually ha are are having this kind of uh, light, the same kind, but now with our own rules, all right? We can move move this light and place it wherever we want. And that's uh, what we are going to get. Now, for example, if we select, uh, delete the light, okay? And create another render. The, with the, this is, this is gonna be the, the render with the Houdini default light. And you can see how it's almost the, the same kind of thing, but depending where are we placing our images, uh, our objects, our lights, we are going to get different results. That's it. Okay. Well, let me go back again, undo that in order to call my light template. And uh, as you can see here, the main difference is that now in this other panel, we have one palette or one tab called render. And here we have different options. We are going to talk about these ones right now. All right, we have misc and uh, rendered and transform. The transform options are just the same uh, as the, the other ones. This is the one that is important. Now, why we have these render options? Well, first thing, what I need to do is I need to create a shop network. Remember when we were talking about the shaders? Well, here's why uh, I didn't want to show you this uh, other shaders in the in the chapter of, of textures because I, I, I didn't know if uh, they were sh uh, lights or or textures but I think they should be here in light so I'm gonna press tab and now we have different options here mantra light and mantra light shadow well first thing I'm gonna select uh, mantra light and let me go here so you can see better mantra light and I'm going to select um, point light if I create a point light shader here, you can see that all I have is light color. I have no intensity and that's it. Now I'm going to press tab again and now I'm going to select light shadow. And here I'm going to select blur shadow. Why not? Okay. And you can see different colors, different type of shaders, different family. And uh, the blur shadow contains more parameters, just like the parameters that we can see in our lights. So you can see type, fast shadow, opaque, no shadows, filter. Uh, shadow bias, softness, oversampling, shadow, the intensity of our shadows and all these things. Now let's go back to our object level and now here I'm going to select my light and here in render I'm gonna go to the shader tab and here in light shader I'm gonna choose my, my choose operator and here I have my shop network and you can see that I can select only my lights okay my shaders for light I don't see the the shadow one select this one accept and then in shadow I can go and select my blur shadow and I don't see my light, only my my blur shadow uh, shader. Click accept and there we go. Now if we render this, we are going to affect our scene with these uh, new settings. Okay, We are actually illuminating our scene with textures, with shaders. 
right? That's uh, this is cool. As you can see, we have a lot of different kind of things uh, and uh, a lot of things that we can do with Houdini. Is uh, the possibilities, like I told you, are endless. Now, uh, what we can do is go to our shop network and we can change this, uh, this or create more nodes, more shaders. I can go and select light, okay, and uh, global illumination, for example. We have a shader for global illumination. We have a lot of different par parameters here. And we are going to talk about global illumination later in another chapter when we are going to we are going to see out, uh, outdoors environments, uh, indoors environments, and a lot of different things. But here you can see the irradiance. We have a lot of the different settings that we can change: the background color, ray tri uh, tracing bias, photon maps, a lot of complicated stuff. Uh, but you're going to see that later on is not going to be that complicated. So object, I'm going to go back here into light, and here I'm going to change this option to my global illumination light. And as you can see, we have two different options here. Go to accept, and other thing is that I want to tweak a little bit my my shadow bias, bias, uh, softness, I'm gonna go here a value of three. Okay, shadow bias, something like this, and oversampling, and shadow intensity, I'm gonna take that down. Okay, for quality factor, just like that, Some something like this. Now, what I want to do is, uh, create a render but with uh, well actually I'm gonna do it here right here I don't want to use uh, my mantra no. uh, I'm just gonna go view mantra and anyways I, I think it's gonna take uh, longer uh, even that I'm not going to be using my my mantra my actual mantra not with all my parameters it's gonna take a long time in uh, well longer than the the last one in order to render but you can see how we can create different kind of illuminations not only with lights inside Houdini we have a lot of options we can uh, manipulate a lot of different settings we can write a lot of different uh, things and we can manipulate and tweak our shaders our lights our uh, scenes in a, in a, I mean uh, uh, that's why I love Houdini right it's uh, like uh, you you can't uh, uh, understand everything here well actually you can understand but you can't uh, uh, finish the the product i mean if you want to eat something you can't okay you, you can't eat uh, houdini <laughs> well that's it i hope you like the the tutorials and uh, remember now we have 200 uh, more than 200 videos about houdini and now the the good thing is that uh, we are finishing with all the the basic stuff all right we we know a lot of different things particles and dot networks a lot of different things and now we are going to to get to the the, the cool part where we are going to start modeling and creatures and shapes, everything in Houdini, all right? So, and uh, I see you in the next movie. This is the, our render, our final render with the global illumination parameter or shader. And that's it. My name is Carlos Lara. And let's, uh, please go to the forum, check uh, our tutorials and bye.